Mercedes bringing you a Fallout 4 tutorial video on how to find uh, Shipbreaker. So, I did actually just pick up the quest. Literally, I just did. Um, so I stopped my last uh, broadcast. Now, the easiest way I've actually found is um, you end up with two settlements on uh, Far Harbor Island, Echo Lake Lumber, and uh, the Dalton's Farm. So the easiest thing you, that you can do to find Shipbreaker is just uh, build up the settlements. When you get to about 70%, I would say, between either the two of them, then uh, just fast travel back and forth between them, talking to the settlers. Uh, and at some point, they will tell you about Shipbreaker, which uh, that guy just to had told me about it. So we are going to go hunt Shipbreaker right now. Hey, what's it? Go ahead. I hear that you've been trying for years to track down an ancient fog crawler. That's right. Shipbreaker, I call her. A wily old beast. I put all the harbor men on the lookout for her. I expect they've told you about how to use the radio to tell when she's nearby. I figure that fancy portable radio you've got strapped to your wrist should do the trick. I didn't really understand how you can track this fog crawler with a radio. Well, it started when I noticed people's radios weren't working right when I was checking out a sight number. Figured out quick it was more than a coincidence. Couldn't say what the radios are picking up from her, but it's something. Maybe all them years she spent in the fog are causing her to give off a signal that interferes with radio waves. The why of it don't much matter to me. What does matter is that it works. No time like the present. Let's find her. Lead the way. She won't slip away this time. Alright, so I do have a marker on my map here. So, let's run down to that real quick. And to the uh, viewer who just joined, I don't have time for you guys. There we go. All right, so. Hunting down Shipbreaker here. I hate following radio signals. There she is. So we are going to, uh, back up a bit here and quick save it.
Come on, save it in the pit boy. Finally, I can move the hell away from it. right arm okay well let's see if we can get something else out of it There's an auto save. Uh, I didn't want to. Still gonna get him freaking cunning right arm. Looks like all I was gonna get was, was all I had. Right then. a cunning right arm piece. Hey, what's on your mind? You can rest easy now that Shipbreaker is dead. Don't know about resting easy, but it's one less thing to worry about. Funny thing is, happy as I am that she's gone, I think I'm gonna miss her in a way. Walking in the fog will be a bit less interesting now, but I don't have to wonder if she might be lurking behind the next rock. Kept me on my toes, she did. For that, I'm grateful, in spite of the sorrow she visited on the island. Here, you may as well have my trusty old harpoon gun. Saving it for delivering the killing blow to Shipbreaker. But now you should have it. Of course, it has to be a harpoon gun.
So, yeah, find shipbreaker is actually not that hard if you just build uh, the settlements up and uh, at Echo Lake Lumber and Dalton's Farm. And then just keep fast traveling back and forth until you and talking to the settlers until they decide to tell you about the uh, shipbreaker. <laughs> 